Today in the Flix File, we take a local look at the start of awards season with the Austin Film Critics Awards for the best of the year. Cole Dabney joins us. You tabulate all the results mm -hmm. from all the film critics who work in Austin. And this year's big winner is? It's The Hurt Locker. And this, and this is a movie that's really gaining a lot of momentum in awards season. It is, it is. It's starting to uh, compete right there with Up in the Air. Uh, it ended up winning Best Film, uh, Best Director. Best cinematography from us. So. This is a film that we got an early look at this year because it screened at South by Southwest with both the director and the screenwriter here. Why do you think that film stayed at such a forefront for so many of the critics in town? You know, I don't know. Uh, I think I think when it came out in March, I don't think anybody was really thinking that it actually had a chance you know, to win Best Film. It came out in June. It's coming back into theaters here in Austin. It opens again this Friday. It opens again on Friday, which is really good. Hopefully, uh, if you didn't get a chance to see it, you will go see it. It doesn't come out on uh, DVD and Blu-ray till January, I believe. So Let's take a look at the rest of the top ten. A great year for sci-fi this year, and mm -hmm. that shows up in the number two pick. Mm -hmm. Star Trek, uh, really big movie, big summer blockbuster. Again, staying out of kind of the award season territory, but you know everybody in Austin always loves their, uh, their sci-fi geek movies. So. And then at number three, uh, another great year for animated animation and a great year for Pixar. Mm -hmm. Up. Uh, you know, it's one of the better Pixar movies. Everybody's really loving it, and I'm sure it has a... And it's the front runner to win the, the best animated film at the Oscars. Also in the top five, a movie that has a lot of uh, momentum behind it, possibly another best contender, best picture contender this year. Mm -hmm. Up in the air, it ended up, uh, you know, coming at number five, and it won best supporting actor and best uh, adapted screenplay for Jason Reitman. And so it never hurts to have George Clooney in your cast when it comes to awards. No. no. Moving to six through ten at number six, a movie that not many people have seen yet, but some of the critics really love this movie, especially in this town. Mm -hmm. Avatar. Uh, it's going to be a real big movie. Comes out here this Friday, so go check that one out on IMAX. It looks great in 3D. Number seven, also a surprise, a little bit of a surprise, in that it won a big acting award. Yeah, Melanie Laurent ended up winning uh, Best Actress for Inglorious Bastards, which I think is great, and Christoph Waltz has won almost every award for Best Supporting Actor. Eight through ten, we've got District Nine, Where the Wild Things Are, and a tie at number twin at number ten between Moon and The Messenger. Some other great films that, if you can't catch in the theaters, would be great DVD pickups pretty soon. They'll be coming up, coming out real soon. We'll finish things off with uh, just talking a little bit about some of the individual awards or unique awards for uh, the Austin Film Critics. What uh, what do we have this year? Well, Neil Blomkamp won uh, Best First Film for Nine, and I think uh, you know Richard Linklater's movie, uh, Me and Orson Welles won Best Austin Film and Best uh, Breakthrough Artist. And I think that if you haven't got a chance to see that, you really should. You know, Austin's Local Sun, it's a really good movie. So. Thanks for dropping by and filling us in. Also Always, on the website, you'll find out the top ten films of the decade as mm -hmm. voted by the Austin Film Critics Association. You can find that all online at austinfilmcritics.org.